I know a show is right for Eldridge Street if it has a direct relation to the stories that we tell at the museum. For example, the current show, which is about the Forward newspaper, uh, has a direct relationship to both our neighborhood and our early congregants. This was the Yiddish language newspaper that they read to find out about what was going on in the world. So by looking at photographs from this paper, we have a direct window into the thoughts and the lives of the people who filled the pews in our main sanctuary. The biggest challenge I face in mounting exhibitions at Eldridge Street is that the museum is in a synagogue. Uh, it's not in a space that was built to exhibit any kind of uh, art or history material. So we've really had to get creative. The result is that we have two um, wall spaces in our lower level and uh, thinking out of the box a bit, we've had great success with hanging installations up in our women's balcony. I really haven't had to say no to anything, but we have had to make adjustments. When we showed Kiki Smith's work several years ago, she was very sensitive to selecting work that would be appropriate to show in a house of worship. Uh, Kiki knows our space very well because she and Deborah Gans designed our east uh, stained glass window and um, she just sort of intuitively felt what would be right for this space. And in doing that, she really made my job very easy because what she selected was just perfect. Yes, making art has always been my favorite thing to do, but I've never done it as a career. I just tend to think of myself as a perpetual student. But I find that one of the nicer things about getting older has been that I really don't care so much anymore about what people think about my work. And as a result, I think it's really quite a bit better. And that's been a really nice surprise.